Hey, so I'm gonna walk you through step by step on how to hook up all of the equipment and cords and craziness. So um, you should be at home by now and have all your equipment out of your car. Um, and we're gonna just go really slowly. So this is the same way that I showed you in training and it will also follow the training brochure that you got um, in your training. So go ahead and open that up and lay that out in an area near you. And I'm just gonna go over the equipment that we have in front of us, okay? So first you had um, the monitor and it came in a box, okay? And in that box you had a bunch of cords. There was a um, digital cable cord and then there's two cords that you're not gonna use, okay? So um, the cord that has the screws in it, you don't need that one. You can just throw that in the garbage. Um, and then the, the cord that has, it looks like a HDMI, but it doesn't have any buttons on it. You don't need that cord either. The only one you're gonna need is the one with the buttons on it, okay? And then of course the, the power cord for the monitor. All right, up next, we've got your computer. Um, now, if you had the big tower computer, that's fine. This just, just happens to be a smaller one, um, but you're gonna need your computer and the power cord for your computer. All right, um, next, we've got your phone. If we keep moving down the line, this is your Meraki. So there's a couple of things in your Meraki box. You've got, obviously, the Meraki, and it has both of your ports labeled. Okay, so we're definitely gonna use that. You're also gonna need one of these short black cords from the inside, okay? And you're gonna need the power box for the Meraki. And then you got this cute little bag. It has the other half of the power cable for the Meraki, so you can, you can go ahead and connect that up, okay? So up next is what we're gonna call the Meraki injector. All right, so it comes in this little bitty box and it comes with the cord and the box. The end of this one has two ports at the end. Okay, and it also has a plug. All right, this is your keyboard and your mouse, right? And then we're gonna pretend this is your router. Okay, yours may look different, everybody's looks a little different, but it should look something like this. And then the last thing that you should have is three ethernet ports, okay? Um, you either took your surge protector from work or you have one at home. So we're gonna set this up in order, right? So take your longest white cord first and you're gonna plug it into your modem. Okay, and it should have, you know, one that matches up really well, okay? And then from the modem, I'm gonna plug that directly into my Meraki. And it's labeled for you, it says modem. And you just plug it right into the modem. Okay. All right, up next is the cord that's gonna go eventually to your phone. So go ahead and get another white ethernet cable. And you're gonna plug this into the first port that's labeled phone PC. Okay, up next, you're gonna need your injector. So if you look at the end of the injector, it has a port that says in and a port that says out. Okay, so you're gonna take your white cord that's connected to your Meraki and plug it to the end. Okay, then you've got the little bitty black cord that you got out of the Meraki box and you're gonna plug it into the out. Get it going the right way here. And then this is what's gonna to connect to your phone, okay? So give me just a minute to undo this. All right, so I got my, my black cord. If you turn your phone over, you can see there's three ports on your phone. This is gonna plug into the middle port, okay? And so this is the last, this is the, the last white ethernet cord. You're gonna plug it in to the right of your black cord. And then that is gonna plug into your computer. 
All right, so let's just review this whole little process. So we started with the router, okay, and then the router plugs into your Meraki on the label modem. Then you get a new cord and you plug it in phone PC. That's connected to the in box of the injector. Small black cord in the out, plugged into the middle port of your phone. Then to the right, you plug your last cord into your PC. Okay, so that's the hardest part of everything you're gonna have to do today, all right? So let's take a look at your monitor. So when you took it out of the box, it should look just like this. So we gotta find the little plugs here. So if you turn the monitor upside down, you can see where the power, the power cord just plugs right into there. And then over on this side, you've got two plugs. And remember, this is the plug that has the button to it. And you always wanna put the button to the outside, because if you don't, you'll never be able to get it out. So you gotta find the right side. And it's gonna plug right there on the inside. Then the other end of this cord will go into your PC right there. Okay? And again, you're gonna have those two extra cords, but you really don't need them. You can just toss those. Make sure your power cord is plugged into your PC. Make sure that your Meraki power cord is plugged in and that your Meraki is plugged in. So only thing that's left is your mouse and keyboard. Those are super easy. So you can plug those into any available USB on your workstation. You can plug it in the front if yours offers that. If not, you can plug them both into the back. It just needs to be a USB. Kind of hard to do this upside down. <laughs> All right, so that's got you completely hooked up and ready to work. Okay, good luck.